In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube Shorts video from your long form video. So in other words, a video that you've already uploaded to your YouTube channel, you can now actually create a short up to 60 seconds shorts video from that video using the YouTube app. Now, this is great because not only can you create a shorts video for YouTube, but you could also download that shorts video from within your YouTube studio and your content library and repurpose that shorts video as an Instagram reel or as a TikTok. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay, so here we are on my YouTube channel and I've chosen a video that I want to create into a short. So as you can see from this video, it's all about the equipment that I can use when I'm out and about on my computer and maybe I'm at a conference and I want to actually record a video or go live. So I want to take a snippet of this video and upload it as a YouTube Shorts into YouTube, but also use that YouTube Shorts as a Instagram Reel and a TikTok. So in order for you to do that, go to the video of choice. And then what I like to do is I like to go to the actual section that I want to actually take. And I know that I want to grab the section about mobile lighting. So I'm going to go straight there. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click this option where it says remix. So go ahead and click that. And you're going to have this option to edit into a short video. And this is only available to you as the channel owner. Go ahead and click that. Now that's going to bring the video up to where I actually selected it, but you can start from the beginning and then just swipe across the bottom using this area here. Now, another yeah. thing to mention- You can't use that. Another thing to mention is that you can take a 15 second snippet or a 60 second snippet to create your YouTube shorts. And to do that, you just click the button at the top right and you can see that you can then drag the bar along the bottom to create the length of video that you want to capture. So you are in complete control of how long you want your YouTube shorts to be and therefore how long you want to then use it for, as an Instagram reel or as a TikTok. Now, another thing to say as well is if you're not in the center of the image, you can actually move yourself over so that you are central. So one tip to remember when you are recording your video in the first place is if you center yourself in the center of your um, horizontal video, so in other words, your long form video, then when it comes to creating your YouTube shorts, you can just snip the bits that you want. So now I've selected the section for my YouTube shorts, all I need to do is actually click the next button. But you can actually play your video and play around with that timeline at the bottom and select any time between like one second and 60 seconds to create your YouTube shorts ready for you to upload that into your YouTube channels. Now, once you've happy with where you're positioned in your scene and also the timeline all you need to do is press the next button and youtube is going to do its magic and actually create that short from your long form video but as you can see along the bottom you have a text option you have a voiceover option you have a timeline option and you have a filters option so what that enables you to do is to add text to your youtube shorts if you wanted to add a voiceover, you could add a voiceover and so on. So to add the text, you just click the text. OK, so once you've typed in what you want, you can make it bigger or smaller by adjusting the band on the right. You can also change the color by using any of these along here to change the color. You can also change the font by clicking on the top one where it gives you um, four or five different options for your font. You can also make it see through or semi see through and also add in the block as well. Another thing I love about the creation in YouTube Shorts is that with the timeline, you can adjust where the text shows up and where it doesn't. So I'm going to just have that at the beginning so that when people first start hearing my video or watching my video, they can see the title. Also, what you can do is you can grab the 
cursor and bring it back so you can actually move the title around the screen if you want to. If you want to do a voiceover, you press the voiceover button and then you can press record and it does the voiceover for you. The timeline, like I said, helps you add text to your video. And if you have a filter, you can adjust the lighting of your video if you want to by changing the filter options. I'm just going to leave mine as they are. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click next. Now, once you've clicked next, YouTube gives you the options to add your title. So this is where you're actually now uploading the video as a YouTube Shorts to your actual um, channel. So you have up to 100 characters to do your title and you can add in a few hashtags in here if you want a little bit more searchability. You do not need to use the hashtag YouTube Shorts anymore or the hashtag Shorts because YouTube will automatically identify this video as a YouTube Shorts because it's vertical and it's under 60 seconds. And because you remixed your original video, it's going to know that anyway. So add in your title. OK, so I've just added in the hashtag there, mobile lights. And then you click done. Now you've got visibility. So if you don't want to post this straight away to your channel, you can actually click public and you can even schedule it if you want to. So you can schedule this YouTube Shorts to come out. So once you've set your video schedule, then you just go back to the option and it will show you that you've scheduled it. Of course, you can just completely go public um, and upload it straight away. Make sure that your settings are as you want them to be and then you click upload shorts. You can, if you want to, save it as a draft for later and then go back and do a bit of editing, but I'm just gonna upload it now. What's going to happen is that that video is going to be uploaded to my channel as a scheduled post. And I'm going to show you now how to actually take it off of YouTube so that you can use it elsewhere. OK, so once your video has been uploaded into YouTube and created into a YouTube Shorts, all you need to do is come up to your YouTube studio and go to your video content. So we'll go over to our video content, which is over here. And then you can see that there is my mobile light option for video creators. It's scheduled to go. So in order for me to download this video so that I can use it as an Instagram reel or as a TikTok, all I need to do is click these three dots and I would download it to my computer. So now it's going to be downloaded to my computer. What I would recommend that you do is download it to maybe your Dropbox or your online files so that you can actually access it from your mobile. Or if you're using a Mac, you can actually airdrop it. So I'm just gonna save that to my Dropbox. Now, once it's been saved to either your iCloud or to your computer, you can actually access it and then save it to your mobile phone. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, the easiest way on the Mac is to open it up on the Mac and airdrop it to your mobile phone. OK, so now that we've created our YouTube Shorts and we've scheduled it into our account, I'm going to show you how the YouTube Shorts works at bringing people back to that long form video. OK, so here we are on my YouTube channel and I'm going to go to my Shorts shelf, as they call it, to find a short that takes you back to a long form video. So here. I have this video that I created the other day. And when you click on it, it's going to be a YouTube short that you can see has um, been created in YouTube. Now, the reason that you can tell that this has been created in YouTube from a long form video is that it has this created from Anita Wong option here. Now, when somebody sees this inside of the shorts arena, they're going to watch this video on the mobile phone or on the desktop. And when they click here where it says created from Anita Wong, it's actually going to take you directly back to that video in question where you originally created the YouTube shorts. So that's a great way of you actually driving more people to your long form video from within YouTube. Now, I know that's a little bit of a mind blowing situation. You've already uploaded a video to YouTube. You've then been able to create a YouTube Shorts from that long form video using the YouTube app. Once you've uploaded that YouTube Shorts and made it public on your channel, people who see that video can then click on that YouTube Shorts and go directly back to that long form video. 
How cool is that? That's a great way of repurposing content that you've already created without you having to remake a video. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit mind blowing, I know, but it's a great way of you learning how powerful YouTube is as a tool to grow your business and also as a tool that saves you time. My name's Anita Wong and I'm a video marketing strategist and trainer. And I love to empower other entrepreneurs to build their brand presence and amplify their revenue using video on YouTube. If you'd like to learn more about how you can amplify your brand message and revenue using YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Give me a like if you wish. And also join me for my monthly masterclass. The link to the masterclass will be, will be below this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.